Hi, welcome back to Financial Journey. So today I want to talk about Lucid, ticker is LCID. I'm going to start by going over the price action that has been happening recently. Obviously, a lot of individuals aren't impressed with the performance as of this week. It was, for the most part, pretty stagnant, and then Friday resulted in a little bit of a sell-off. So I do want to talk on why that actually happened. Also, I do want to talk on a lot of the data points that's very irrelevant to a lot of Lucid investors. And finally, do a little bit of technical analysis at the end, see what the indicators are saying about Lucid. But before I get into any of that, all I ask, smash a thumbs up it definitely helps my channel significantly for those that are new to the channel i do daily videos on trending stocks crypto i do it all so definitely subscribe also take a look at my discord link in the description below it's a free chat that brings individuals together with the common theme of investing making money all that fun stuff because at the end of the day that's what we invest right we invest in lucid to make money and have fun so definitely join discord it's a good place to be but with all this said, let's get right into it. So just want to start off by going over what Lucid closed out on Friday at. So $23.23 down 4.7%. One thing I want to draw your attention to on this screen is the volume. So you can see 24.8 million was the volume on Friday, whereas 25.1 is the average volume. And for those that do watch Lucid on a daily basis, whether it's the performance or volume or whatever it might be, you know that that volume is abnormal. And considering if you factor in 24.8 million was the volume on Friday and we're down 4.5%, if you just piece everything together, that just goes to show that there was no physical buyers in the market for Lucid. At the end, I'll do a little bit of technical analysis and see what the indicators are actually saying about all that as well. But just looking at this, you can see on the five day chart for the majority of the week, it was pretty stagnant with the exception of Friday. There was that little bit of a sell off. So I do want to talk on why exactly Lucid was down on Friday and pretty stagnant for the rest of the week. So ultimately, there was a lot of high expectations for Luce, especially following the production preview week. There was a lot of assumptions that there was going to be a lot more analysts that was going to enter into Lucid and provide whether a buy rating with probably a $30 price target and so forth. There was none of that. So ultimately, it was just investors not getting exactly what they were expecting or assuming. Um, so it's one of those things that happens with a lot of stocks similar to Lucid, whether it's at a speculative stage such as this, there's a lot of assumptions that are being made about Lucid. So in my opinion, that's just one thing that aided into the bigger picture that I'm going to touch on as well. And keeping in line with the hedge funds and institutions are getting in or out of Lucid, I do want to show you the Fintel information. So you can see a wall of red in my opinion that is another factor that did cause a lot of investors whether it just be retail investors or whatever it might be to be scared and not physically buy into lucid because like i said if you look at this match everything together it does go to show that there was no buyers on friday and when it comes to a lot of retail investors, they heavily rely on a lot of analysts. And not only that, they rely on other institutions and hedge funds physically buying in. And usually when a big institution or hedge fund buys into whatever stock, that is a catalyst and causes a lot more retail investors to buy in because of them. And you can see, although majority of these are very small institutions and hedge funds, they still is a wall of red. And that is definitely very overwhelming for a lot of individuals. So a lot of these are piecing together that it's just a lot of retail investors weren't physically buying in. One final thing I do want to touch on is the data points before I do a little bit of a technical analysis. So short interest on Lucid, because short interest on Lucid was growing and obviously it was at a concerning rate. And you can see based on the yellow line right here on the chart, that's a week by week basis and shorts just increased dramatically. As of right now, 9.77 is the short interest on Lucid. 72.68 is the utilization. A day by day change was negative 4.49%, which it works out to be 2.5 million shares that were returned. Yes, there are a lot of shorts that did enter into Lucid. Obviously, given the huge run up that it did have, a lot of individuals were betting against it. Overall, in my opinion, I'm not really too worried about the short interest is still relatively small considering everything that's happening with Lucid. I do feel that there's a lot more catalyst that will outweigh the short interest by any means. And finally, want to transition and do a little bit of technical analysis. So looking at this right now, at the six month chart up, as far as indicators, I have the RSI, stochastic, and momentum. And then on the physical chart, I have 50, 100, and 200 day moving averages, as well as boiling bands. So first and foremost, like I said, I want to talk on exactly why it was selling off. 
and technical analysis was one of them. Unfortunately, on Friday, we did break past not only the 200, but the 100 day moving averages. And by doing so, that typically shows in the short term that is going to be a little bit of a bearish, a little bit of, of a pullback. And as of right now, the 50 day moving average is currently sitting at $22.62. So most likely we'll probably trend to around that range before hopefully bouncing off of that and heading a little bit higher. Looking at some of the indicators, though, the RSI is currently sitting at 40 49 and stochastic at 39. Typically for those to be good buying opportunities, it needs to be at 30 and 10. So as of right now, they're still a little bit neutral, but looking at how it was, it definitely does show that there was a little bit of a pullback. You can see on the 21st, it failed to break past and make new strong support levels. So the, on the, the stochastic level, it did invert. So it was a little bit of a, a hit and miss when it comes to that. Momentum, like I said, number of buyers are physically just diminishing. And you can see based on the momentum indicator, just number of buyers buyers are going down which again goes back to my point the fact that on Friday there was just no buyers physically getting in and that does bring up a, a little bit of a concern whether that does continue or not it's one of those things uh, obviously there's a fixed number of capital fixed number of buyers potentially out there that are interested into lucid so it's one of those things that it's just it's bound to happen it's bound to happen where there's a lack of buyers or whatever it might be just want to show you a little bit more technical analysis. So as of right now, how I see things, given the circumstances, I no matter what, I'm very bullish on Lucid. I definitely do see this as a huge home run. But if you care more about technical analysis and the short term kind of uh, movements, I do see us getting to around the 2260 mark, which is the 50 day moving average and very strong support at that stage. If we do get to that stage and we unfortunately break past it, and then we'll probably head back to around the $20 mark in all reality. But if that does hypothetically happen and we do hold the 2260 mark, then we'll be treading a little bit higher and hopefully hit around the $28 mark and hit that resistance level and hopefully break past that. I do anticipate that more so near the end of the month, especially with deliveries and whatnot. There's a lot of positive things about Lucid. Just look at any of my other videos about Lucid. It's just all great opportunities to buy in at many different stages. Keep in mind, I'm not a financial advisor, so do your own due diligence at the end of the day. And this is just strictly for entertainment purposes. And I definitely hope you are entertained by this. But with that all said, let me know what you've been doing with Lucid in the comments below and whether you've been buying, selling, holding, whatever you're doing, or it might be options as well. Let me know. If you haven't already, definitely smash the thumbs up and subscribe. I greatly appreciate that. If you do like my channel, want to support the growth, take a look at my memberships, link in the description below, or hit the join button at the bottom of the screen. I greatly appreciate it, and it definitely helps my channel significantly. With all that said, I appreciate you guys watching, and let's all make a lot of money on Lucid.